Discovering why dogs pee on vertical objects. It's a common scene. Dog owners walk their dogs and their dogs pee on vertical objects. Common targets are lampposts, trees, bushes and the quintessential fire hydrant, often overrepresented in many cartoon strips. The behavior may seem quite peculiar if we think about it, but from a dog's perspective, there are valid reasons for lifting legs on vertical objects. P from a dog's perspective. To us humans, P is nothing more than just liquid waste that is readily flushed away in the toilet. From a dog's perspective instead, P is much, much more. P is so rich of information, that dogs love spending several minutes a day just leisurely investigating and deciphering P with their noses. What kind of information can be deduced by dogs though from simply examining a small trickle of pee? Interestingly, it's amazing the amount of information dogs can gather from just the mere presence of liquid waste. Dog pee is known for containing pheromones, basically chemical scents that reveal a lot of individualized information pertaining the dog who left it behind. From sniffing pee, dogs can deduce a lot of interesting details such as the dog's sex, reproductive status, age, health, and even what the dog recently ate. Pee to dogs is like business cards to humans. It is courtesy of a special organ known as the Jacobson organ, also known as the vomeronasal organ, that dogs can interpret pee. This organ is found in the dog's nasal cavity and connects to the roof of the dog's mouth through a small duct known as the incisive papilla. Once pheromones are detected by the vomeronasal organ, the brain takes over so the dog can be focused on deciphering information. Every dog's pee is unique in its own individual way, so all dog scent markings act as personal signatures. Doggy Bulletin Board So now that we know how dogs perceive pee, Let's take a closer insight into why they prefer to pee on vertical objects. Dogs really want their pee to be noticed, so in order to gain exposure, they need to rely on some astute tactics, so what do they do? They hike their leg high and deposit their urine on vertical surfaces so that their pee mail is strategically posted right at another dog's nose level. For sake of comparison, the act of peeing on vertical surfaces is similar to what humans do when they place their business cards on a community bulletin board. It's strategically placed right at perfect eye level, so convenient for others to see. Just as humans choose to place their business cards in the center of a bulletin board, or make their business cards stick out using vibrant colors, dogs may decide to pee up high or just nearby the vertical object. The longer expiration date. On top of making pee mail extra easy for other dogs to find, there's another big perk that comes with peeing on vertical surfaces. According to Bruce Fogel, veterinarian and author of the book, Know Your Dog, the scent of urine on a vertical surface has a tendency to last longer compared to a horizontal one. On top of this, any scent that is above ground tends to be carried around with the air much farther and it is less likely to be diluted by the rain compared to horizontal surfaces, which tend to form puddles, observes Stanley Corrin, in the book, Do Dogs Dream? Nearly everything your dog wants you to know. Now you know exactly why dogs love to pee on tires, and what makes fire hydrants rank high as a dog's favorite place to urine mark. A matter of social aspirations. But wait, there's more. On top of learning about a dog's sex, age and reproductive status, dogs who sniff a trickle of pee from a vertical surface may also supposedly envision the dog's size. Therefore, it's likely that, dogs who tend to aim high on vertical surfaces are dogs with big aspirations. Let's face it, bigger animals tend to leave more of an impact. So some dogs simply aim high in hopes that other dogs will think they are dealing with a very large dog. The higher the urine mark, the larger the size of the dog depositing the urine. But things can get tricky at times because there are honest and dishonest urine markers out there. Small dogs, in particular, appear to be guilty for carrying out deceptive practices when they lift their legs to urine mark. According to a study, small adult male dogs may exaggerate their leg lifting for the purpose of appearing larger than what they are, but why would they engage in such deceitful strategies? Apparently it's a matter of protecting themselves. 
According to McGuide and Bernie's study, such cheating likely takes place because direct social interactions could be more costly for them considering their diminutive sizes. And who can blame them? With so many dogs around being larger than them, any direct encounters gone wrong may turn them into lunch. Another possible reason as to why small dogs raise their legs high and even do handstands when peeing, is that they are trying to overmark. Overmarking is the tendency of dogs to pee on top of another dog's pee. This is not at all uncommon. Small dogs may therefore attempt to pee as high as possible so to cover the urine of larger dogs with their own scent. Of course, until further studies come out, these are just assumptions. In the meanwhile, enjoy watching the acrobatics. Please like us and subscribe for more fascinating dog discoveries.